Hi there, this is Lasse from Lasse Designing and today I want to talk about bokeh backgrounds. I want to show you how I create the bokeh backgrounds for some of my most famous or most popular images and we will build uh, the background of this image today. I will show you from start to finish how I built the background for this one with the street and also those blurred lights. Before we start, I want to show you some other works of mine where I use this effect. This image, for example, which is quite new. I posted it a few days ago on my Instagram channel. This one is uh, also one of my most popular images on Instagram. And also this one, maybe you recognize this image from my last video where I talked about my light painting technique. So if you don't know about this uh, video, make sure to watch it. You'll find it on this channel. And yeah, I would say that's it. Just uh, after the trailer, we will start to build up our new background. So, okay, let's go. I just prepared a little document with three different layers. We have this blurred background with those blurred lights. This is actually Dubai. I photographed it a few years ago. Then we have this kind of a street or rather a parking garage or something like that, um, which I photographed also a few years ago. And we have just a black layer. This is everything we need for building such a background. And by the way, if you need more of those backgrounds, you can of course photograph them yourself. Just go to the next river if you live in a city and then stand on the shore and just photograph the lights on the other side. Just put your camera into manual focus mode and defocus the image. Just experiment a bit because the more you defocus the image, it will always look different because those lights get bigger and smaller. Just uh, try that out a bit. And if you do not live in a big city, you also can go out at night and search for some places where you just have many different lights and try to do it in the same way. And if you live in a forest, maybe or in an area where there is no light, I also got a solution for you because I have a little package on my Gumroad shop. I will show that to you very quickly. 30 city bokeh backgrounds is the name of that package. I will just link it in the video description. Okay, now let's finally start with the editing part and I will just make this top layer with the blur lights invisible for a moment and I will add a layer mask to that uh, street layer. I will just name that street very quickly. Now I have my layer mask activated and I will choose the gradient tool. Make sure to have a gradient that goes from black to white. You can adjust that in this dialog. Now I will draw a line for the gradient. I will just draw it somewhere from here to somewhere over here. And, and while I draw that line, I hold down the shift key to uh, make sure that I draw a perfectly straight line. That's it. Now I have my street fading into black and I make this layer visible again. Now I change the blend mode to screen. And as you can see now, all the black areas or all the dark areas of that area become invisible or transparent. Yeah, I think I also will scale it a bit up. Just click Command T to get into this um, transformation tool. And then you can just reposition it and scale it, distort it, whatever you want. And uh, now I hit enter and I think this looks okay so far. The cool thing about photographing such a city skyline in front of water is that you get those nice water reflections and you can transfer that reflections onto the street to to give your image more like a wet look. And I will now add a layer mask and I will fade out the edge a bit because 
the reflections are a little bit too strong for my taste. Yeah, that looks fine. And now I will darken the whole image a bit. I'll just add a levels adjustment layer and I will darken it like this. That all the image becomes a darker look and it looks more as if the street was photographed at night as well. Now we have another problem because the street is too sharp. So the, f the street is uh, totally in focus from from front to back and the lights are definitely very blurred so we need to blur the street a bit. I will first convert the street into a smart object by just hitting uh, the right mouse button when I'm somewhere in this area and then click convert to smart object. Now I'm going into filter, blur gallery and then tilt shift and those are the controls to control the blur and on this round button thing you can click and then drag this whole thing around so you can drag those controls wherever you want so I will place the focused area which is the area between those two lines I will place it somewhere here and this is of course the area where you can add your person or vehicle or whatever you want later the area between this line and this dashed line, this is the area where the image will slowly become more defocused. So when you reach the dashed line, you will reach the highest level of blur. So the level that you just set up over here, I will think, I think I will blur this one a little bit more and you can see that it gets more blurry when I drag the control and I think this looks okay maybe a little bit less blurry looks better now I hit okay and that's almost it we have created a very nice background which is pretty similar to the one that I used for this image um, we can now add a little bit more light and color um, if you have seen my first video, you already know the techniques that I'm using now. If not, I recommend you to watch it. You'll find it on this channel, of course. I use the paint bucket tool, fill this layer with black and then change the blend mode to color dodge. And now I'm just using a color from the background and just paint over the background, also a bit over the lights and you can see the street becomes brighter and also we paint a little bit of color onto the street in the same step. Okay and also maybe some glows. I'll add another layer, change the layer mode to screen, pick my colors from the background and then I'm starting to add some glow effects. So this looks pretty cool and this is your blurry bokeh background. Try to use it for your own composite image. Please leave a like if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also maybe ring the bell to get a notification when I'm uploading a new video and I hope to see you in my next video again and yeah have a nice day and bye bye.